Hey everyone. Well, uh, welcome back to the to the garage here. I haven't posted any videos in a while. I have been cutting uh, things with the machine, pretty much just uh, gifts and projects for work, little little stuff. Uh, but I thought I'd post a video now because I've done uh, well. I just wanted to catalog some of the uh, additions that I've made to the machine recently. You can see there I added some uh, angle braces uh, to the sides. Luckily I had the uh, foresight when I was first putting this thing together to put some T-nuts up into these uh, channels. So I had one to use there and then for this end down here I had some uh, drop-in T-nuts. Uh, just enough to get the job done because otherwise I would have had to pull off that plate and that would have been a nightmare. Probably would have had to re-level the machine and everything. The other big thing, really the, uh, the, the biggest thing I've done is I've added to my control box here a uh, Super PID speed controller. So I, I cut that little face plate out of some translucent plastic so you can see all the all the stuff underneath there. Uh, there's kind of cables in the way. But it's all wired up. Uh, uh, I used some, uh, a wiring diagram so uh, that, that someone had posted online so it's got options for uh, a computer controlled, you know, Mach 3 speed control or uh, manual with the knob here. It all works fantastic. Uh, I haven't cut a, uh, an actual job since I did it. I, well, that's not true. I guess I did one thing, but it, uh, I haven't really exercised it very much, so I'm very much looking forward to uh, getting that, to seeing that in full effect. So the other thing I did here is, you may recall that these side beams here uh, I had them on end like this, and in hindsight, I kind of thought to myself, well, that was stupid. I just laid them down here, and now I've got basically just more table. I can hang things off the end, and also I've got, I can actually support my tabletop here. Uh, so I, I've got another piece of MDF. I'm going to cut a new tabletop, and it'll extend all the way out here. I'll get more cutting direction in the X. And it'll just be, it'll really the way it should have been from the start. Unfortunately, uh, I did not have the foresight uh, last weekend when I was rearranging these to drop in uh, T-nuts and things. So I'll have to loosen these and slide them out and, uh, and, and get some T-nuts in here so I can put my, these little, well, I've got these, these plates here for the ends and then these inside corner brackets for the, for the corners in there. Of course, the... Uh, Super PID comes with the uh, the sensor in there. Well, it's of course inv invisible. You can see the uh, is the, uh, the cable for the little sensor uh, that went in just fine. I used a uh, uh, a PDF that uh, one of the uh, famous CNC guys wrote up actually for this with with this model of router in mind. That's very helpful. I think it was the uh, Kronos CNC. Whatever that that guy with the way overbuilt machine, uh, but very very helpful. I also modified my my uh, dust shoe a little bit so it's easier to go up and down. Uh, getting prepared for a big job, I'm going to be cutting some uh, uh, some plyboo uh, bamboo plywood for a friend. So it's uh, super tough. I well, it's, I I think I haven't tried a test cut yet. I may film that test cut. Uh, since it may be interesting, uh, things might explode, you never know. So anyway, that's where we're at. Thanks for watching.